Later children happily play at one of the eight child-friendly spaces in Kiriandongo Refugee Settlement Camp, while others are excited about being in school. This is how they enjoy their childhood. I like about school because you can get better life, future, anything. I like to become a doctor. Learn more about the helots of the people. Children and adolescents make almost 65% of the refugees in Uganda as a result of conflict, disease outbreaks and displacement. A case in point is the Bududa mudslides incident in eastern Uganda that left many lives lost and property destroyed in 2010. The affected families had to be resettled in Kiriandongo refugee settlement. The first mudslide happened at around 5 p.m on first then in the evening at around 8 8 30 another mud site happened in a village called in a family. government was a concerned and i called for all the people who are in the risky places like in the uphills come down government uganda we have first received that by at the, the camp there near Panyandoli Primary School. We picked all of them and we brought them at the reception center. There and then we started now in co calling, informing the IPs to come and support us because the situation was alarming. With the intervention of the Office of the Prime Minister and the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, over 200 homes have now been built to resettle the 600 displaced families. Each family was allocated at least 2.5 acres on this expansive land of 10 square miles. Which still the government managed to plow for each household one acre. <laughs> This big number of people puts pressure on the limited resources and hinders access and equal utilization of these resources among the refugees and the host community. In coordination with the Office of the Prime Minister and the United Nations High Commission, the United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, recognizes and addresses the urgent needs of newly displaced persons, including women, adolescents and children. We had only one latrine of three stances and it was a dilapidated latrine. So we had to immediately yeah, call for support. With our people of Bududa, when they first came, our latrine was the booze. We are just purely doing open edification for two years. It was really a very sorry state. We had no water. In its community integration approach, UNICEF supports the integration of refugees into host communities where all members benefit from access to the same basic services. The resettlement process has further seen the renovation and building of more classroom blocks, totaling 28 and fitted with water tanks, construction of offices and ventilated improved pit latrines, and supply of textbooks to Kanrom, Panyodoli Hills, Arnold and Bidong primary schools. What you are seeing today was not there. It was a dilapidated structure. Actually, it was a structure now for snakes. Not even a single latrine, not even a road. I want to say I'm right now very, very grateful to UNICEF, to DRC, to Windows Trust Uganda for the intervention that they have put in. 89 bicycles were provided to each teacher from the four settlement schools to ease their movement between school and home. Their residences are in Weyale Town Council away from the Kiriandongo settlement. A 
Additionally, support in child health has been extended to the health facilities. This has included putting up the Nutrition Therapeutic Food Center and support to polio immunization with five solar fridges to the District Health Office, Nyakadot Health Center 3, Panyadoli Health Center 3, and Panyadoli Hills Health Center 3, all in the settlement. Children were many than the adults. So UNICEF came up with one component of first immunization because each and every child would first be immunized. Yeah, that was the one of the support we first got from UNICEF and which would make children to survive. And they are still supporting because even this exercise which is ongoing around the city polio campaign, they also have a big hand inside there to ensure that each and every child below five years is immunized. Integrated management of acute malnutrition was successfully rolled out to treat severely malnourished children. The first thing they fought was the, at least to ensure that each and, re, each and every refugee is reached and the VHTs are trained to reach these homes with all the skills to identify malnourished children and refer to the mothers with those cases for support from the health centers. The Chiriandongo refugee settlement has about 53,000 refugees and asylum seekers from the neighboring countries in addition to those internally displaced. Emphasis is put on water and sanitation to enable the community avoid communicable diseases. Two hybrid solar motorized water schemes were constructed, four new boreholes drilled, and five repaired in the settlement. What the government has done, we are very happy because we appreciate that one, it has brought us down to a safe place. In addition to that, it has it looked a proper place or environment, just as like Buluchike, because we, all, we still we have the hills around. We have a staff of 31 for both nursery and the primary section. And at the moment, all of these teachers have been accommodated on the teachers' quarters, which is a very big achievement. <laughs> And uh, we are actually praising and uh, praying for more for them to get more funds and continue supporting us. You know, Kiriandongo as a district, it has short hands, it cannot reach everywhere. But with other supports, we can reach wherever we need to reach. UNICEF, in collaboration with the government of Uganda, will continue to support the full integration of all families affected by the Wududa landslides through the construction of more houses, schools and other facilities to avail social amenities. Oh,